Yo, what's going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm back on my own server Immortal667 where I will go over some of the updates that have been going on recently. Now starting off, when you log in you get this new chat interface um, saying that you can get some rewards by voting so definitely make sure you go ahead and vote every day to get those rewards. This is just a small reminder every time you log in so yeah I think that's a pretty small but very nice update. Now for the rest we have some other really cool updates, uh, this was a client update starting with the uh, teleports that are now lit up in your um, um, spellbook. So as you can see you have the mini games teleports which is the dice zone and dual arena. By the way scam save gambling has been added so if we go to the dice zone, well there should actually be someone there to show this. Alright so here we are we got ourselves a target which we will gamble with so if you click on gamble with you can actually see that there are four um, games now how, however for flower poker and dice duel you will both need a dice permit as you can see in the chat right there but I can host him 55 times 2 or blackjack so I'll send him a blackjack invite you'll just have to click on the invite in the um, chat box then we both go ahead and click accept now this is just for the purpose of showing this then there will be a countdown and I will actually roll my dice and he will have the option to hit or stay his score is 93 so I guess he will stay on that and then my rolls will go automatically as well um, I rolled in 92 which was actually pretty close but of course I lost so he won the bet so yeah, that's how scam safe gambling works. I think this is a really nice feature that has been added. Another thing we updated is the global messages. Now, as you can see in the chat, sometimes there will be a global message popping up, but these have been uh, made more professional looking like by uh, adding the information, uh, adding the different symbols and the text colors. Let me just drag out the forums here so you guys can see. So as you can see the new global messages are like this which is in my opinion way more professional and way nicer. Now scrolling down I'm just going to keep this here for now. As you can see we did get ourselves a launcher which will automatically update to the latest client. So definitely go ahead and make sure you get it once we release it. For now the only link you have to download the client is right here but it's not fully released yet as we are still uh, as we are still tweaking a little bit but you can already download this launcher for now. Now there will be coming some other really sick updates in the near future like a voting reward uh, revamp so there will be new rewards added to the votes so that's pretty nice. There will also be a custom zone with custom rares um, that are made by one of the players and he actually did quite a lot of work so I just want to give a quick shout out to Mike Wheelots who is actually uh, the server support on here and he made quite a lot of models for us which will be added into a um, custom zone where you can grind out all these drops. Now another thing that was done is the homepage has been completely redone as you can see we just had a new homepage so it looks a bit more professional. Um, by the way we also have a new development but for the people who didn't know this yet, I want to introduce everyone here to Johnny which is the new um, developer of the Immortal Staff team. Um, he has worked for quite a big, uh, quite some big servers in the past like Dreamscape, Simplicity and some other really big servers that he has worked for in the past. So yeah, definitely a great asset to the Immortal team and we will be pushing out a lot of great updates. Another thing that has been added is 120 skills. So as you can see you can actually train your skills past level 99 now up to level 120. So that's actually quite nice. Now for at the moment these are still not that, uh, that useful. But there will be new money making methods with all these skills once you reach a level of over one uh, over 99. So yeah, those will be very profitable in the near future once I get around to fixing all those um, things that you can do once you hit 99+. plus. Also, real quick, I do want to mention that there is actually an event on the Discord which will be monthly from now on. So if you are in Discord, you have to invite as many players to the Discord as you can. Every 5 invites will give you a super mystery box and every 10 invites will give you an ultra mystery box. Now that's already pretty cool, but to finish it off, every month month the, the person with the most amount of invites will receive themselves $50 on your PayPal account so $50 actual cash so you can actually go ahead and make some money IRL in real life while actually playing Immortal so yeah in my opinion that's pretty great all you have to do is share a discord link make sure your friends join and get to know Immortal. 
Now yeah, that's just a small event I wanted to talk about real quick. Now for the rest, we have implemented a new hunter's uh, area. As you can see, there is this wolf hunter at home. Um, you can go to Wilderness Hunter. You can check the shop where you can buy yourself some impling jars or butterfly nets. Um, let me just get some of those real quick. Now once you have those, you can actually go to the Wilderness Hunter area. Of course, this is in the wilderness, so it is quite dangerous if there are some PKers. So definitely don't bring too much expensive stuff. But as you can see, you have the regular implings. You can catch these for XP. Um, oh, I need to equip the net, my bad. So you can catch these for experience. Um, of course, they give no loot at the moment. That's because um, I still have to redo the loot that you can get from these. But there are also some custom implings. Um, let me find them real quick. Oh, here we go. A dark impling. So you will need a higher... Um, level than 99 for this i think this one was for level 94 uh 95 or something but there are two more implings flying around here somewhere which are custom as well where you will need 115 um hunter and another level i think 104 uh, the bane impling for example right here let's have a look you need 120 hunter to catch the bane impling and then there are some more around here but now these implings will be able to give you some good loot once I get around to finishing all of them. So yeah, definitely make sure you come and check out this Wilderness Hunter as well. Also for the people who don't know, ZachTX is actually right now on the server making videos. He will also be doing some giveaways in his videos. So if you, wanna, uh, if you want a chance to win one of his giveaways, I will be linking his channel down below in the description. Definitely make sure to check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe and enter his giveaway because that will be really nice if you have a chance of winning one of his giveaways he will be giving away some really nice stuff so definitely go ahead and check it out now in other updates i also added these starter mystery boxes now these can be obtained by four starter bosses the evil chickens then you have the blinks the clay and then you of course have the necromancers which are in the money zone these all drop the starter mystery boxes at 1 in 50 chance and these mystery boxes can give up to a automatic loot banker which is 35 dollars in the donation store so that's actually quite nice now I'll just be opening quite a few of those, actually, as you can see I actually got quite lucky so far, got myself two imbued Zerite bows and a dead touch dart, you also can get imbued Torvald pieces, uh, imbued Nex pieces my bad, so yeah that's pretty nice, uh, let me just empty this real quick, but as you can see here is a mystery chest, now what also has been added is if you go in the wilderness and you go PK and you actually have a chance of getting uh, PvP keys, now you have the ultra rares, the commons, the rares and then the... Um, I forgot the other ones, but you can get those keys from killing your opponent and then you can use these keys on this chest to receive some really cool rewards. So um, yeah, you can get some really sick rewards from these like um, uh, the Evershock and some other really cool items. Alright, so I opened up an inventory of these and as you can see in the chat I got quite lucky. I got three ultra rare items which is the Elder Mall PvP. The demonic chest plate and the demonic shield now you can upgrade this with three elder malls to the pvm version but those um will be will not be allowed in the wilderness the pvp versions however will be very good in the wilderness once you get around to uh, using them now another thing that has been in the progress is actually multi-hitting weapons and as you can see right now i am wielding the dominion crossbow now if you use this as you can see i can actually hit more than one npc in a range of a certain amount of squares so that's actually pretty nice now these weapons haven't been released in game yet but this is an update that will come very shortly after this video because i think this is a pretty nice feature we also already have this on a site so let me just spawn in the noxious site so i can show you guys all right so this site actually works similar as you can see you can hit more than one npc at a time if they are next to each other of course this works even better if you have like like a bunch of NPCs like here um, if you can just stack these and I will be able to hit all three of those as you can see so yeah that will be pretty nice the noxious site is actually already obtainable uh, from a drop from the uh, shadow corporal beast in the wilderness so yeah if you want to test your luck to get one of these weapons definitely make sure to go ahead and try that balls out anyways that's going to be it for this video guys I know it has been a long time since my last video but I try to upload more videos, but it's quite hard with college and stuff. Anyways, I will be trying to keep up more consistent uploads of at least once a week, even though it's quite hard. But yeah, 
Um, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure you are subscribed and turn on those notifications so you get notifications when I upload a new video. Also, stay tuned for more epic updates with Johnny and make sure to check out Zach's his channel right now so you can enter his giveaways. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.